Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to some more Planet Coaster. And, oh no, he's doing that weird testing stuff again. Um, yeah, I mentioned something in my previous video which got me thinking. Does terrain affect the roller coaster? Which led on to another thought. Does scenery affect a roller coaster? Now, any of us who have played Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, 2 and 3. I can't remember if the first one did it. But anyway, if you've played those two, you know when you build a roller coaster, uh, its initial excitement value is usually kind of low until you add in scenery. And, you know, there's, there's been challenges in some of those where it tells you you have to build a small roller coaster with a really high excitement value. And the way most people have done that is to build a very, very simple roller coaster and just throw a metric poop ton of scenery at it. And, you know, you add enough scenery and you get that excitement value you need. The scenery uh, uh, affected the excitement rating of the roller coaster. So I thought, hmm, does this occur yet? This is still alpha. So, not knowing how the roller coaster mechanics are currently working, how it figures out excitement, fear, and nausea. I mean, well, I mean, we have a basic understanding of how it figures those out, but I don't think it's finished. Remember this, this, the, the ride results were, and testing were added for alpha three. So it may change to beta, which is in what? Two weeks, three weeks? Two weeks? Next week? Please. All right, three weeks. Um, so I decided to throw together a simple launched roller coaster. We've got a 90 degree bank at one end. We've got a 60 degree bank at the other. And these are our test results. 5.9, 4.5, and 2.2. .2. Reaches a grand total of 58 miles per hour and an average speed of 36. The most, the maximum lateral G's is 2.83, which I would imagine is probably this corner. Since this is a 90 degree corner, they shouldn't be experiencing that many lateral G's. Anyway, so that's that coaster, right? Right. So what happens if we make changes to say it's scenery what if we surround it with I don't know trees <gasps> as if by magic so I dropped down a bunch of trees and some rocks just for the sheer fun of it uh, to see if that would have any effect on the roller coaster itself it did not not at all. Our excitement, our fear, and our nausea have not changed, and neither will the rest since it's exactly the same roller coaster. So, dumping down nature scenery has done nothing for us whatsoever. Now, a little footnote to that is if your people ride this roller coaster over here, they will remark that there is no scenery. But when they ride this one, they will say, oh, the scenery or the scenery on this roller coaster was excellent or something else but that does not translate into the ride itself you don't see that feedback in any of the ride results or the data so I don't know if the system is applying that to the roller coaster or if that's just a thought that the guests are having that is completely inconsequential to the game mechanics at the moment this is alpha 3 so, all right, so that's that's natural scenery. That's trees and rocks and stuff. What about the terrain? I wonder if, if the terrain will have any effect on, on, on our roller coaster. Oh my God, look at that. It's almost like he's done this already. So, again, all these have been set up. They've uh, had uh, three runs completed in test mode. So let's see what we got here. Whoops. Well, I almost screwed that up. 
<laughs> right. So excitement is 5.9, fear is 4.5, and nausea is 2.2. Those are exactly the same results for this one and this one. So no, the scenery doesn't really have much of an effect. It's a bit of a bummer, isn't it? You would imagine actually being thrown through a tunnel and not knowing what's on the other side would uh, increase your fear. Hmm? Like a blind corner. If you come off this and you go around a blind corner and you can't see what's coming, that should heighten the, the fear of the ride a little bit. Right? Right? Maybe. Well, I mean, unless you've ridden it like 30 times, probably. Okay. Okay, so now what if we have some complex scenery and we throw sorry some complex terrain and we throw scenery at it does that make any kind of a difference to our roller coaster uh, metrics I don't know let's have a look uh, no they don't at all the metrics are exactly the same curious so yeah this one I, I dumped down trees and rocks and you know had roughly the same terrain layout you know a tunnel here a tunnel a blind corner here a tunnel here and a, uh, a covered corner here or a, a hard corner here with a rock wall on it but no didn't make any kind of a difference whatsoever interesting well okay what if we forget terrain and trees and stuff you know what if we forget the natural uh, impact of scenery. What if we look at uh, like uh, animatronics and uh, buildings? What if we stick a building next to the track? Does you know is is uh, is that going to have an impact on how our ride operates? I don't know. Let's have a look. <laughs> so I dumped down some some basic scenery parts. You know some prefabbed areas, some of mine, some off the workshop. Uh, some uh, scenery trees scenery, uh, you know these came out of the, the default blueprints let's see what uh, what effect that had oh, I did it again oh look none at all it did nothing absolutely nothing so what does that tell us not a great deal, to be honest. This is Alpha. <laughs> However, it does tell us that as much as you doll up your ride with scenery items and tunnels and buildings and like all kinds of other stuff, paths and whatnot, as much as you do that, it is not going to affect the ride metrics after testing. Bit of a shame, really. Now, of course, if you interweave uh, another roller coaster with it, that does actually have an effect. But from what I've tested so far, scenery does not. Uh, what I might do actually is, you know, what I'm going to do? I am going to open these rides. I'm going to put some paths. I'm going to put a path down. Open all of these rides and see which one the guests. Um, more drawn to which which one gets the bigger queue and hopefully they don't find the one that's closest to the entrance and head for that one so, <laughs> so and I'll, I'll have a look at that and see what kind of feedback I get from the actual guests uh, if they prefer this one or this one and they hate that one right well so we'll have a look at that Right, so I've had this sucker on uh, maximum speed for 10 minutes. Let's uh, let's check out uh, what uh, what things have what, what's been occurring with the uh, with the rides, shall we? Right, yeah. Ride number five. So far, we've had 613 guests. Ride four. 726 okay this one 1009 interesting 752 
611. Okay, so that really doesn't tell us much, but it does tell us that guests are more drawn to uh, to the two middle ones, obviously. Mostly probably because they're closest to the, uh, the facilities. Uh, you know, we've seen the least amount of traffic on the two outside ones. So, um, I guess it's probably fair to say that scenery and terrain have absolutely no influence on which roller coaster your guests will ride. At the moment, this is Alpha. Remember that. I'm going to save this park. And I'm going to run all these... Well, you know what? Let me just make sure that nothing has changed here. Test results. Nope. No changes whatsoever. I am going to save this park as it is. And when beta is released, I'm going to come back and visit this as well. And we'll see uh, what changes have occurred with the... Uh, with the you know, scenery, uh, the, the ride evaluation, and of course, the guests evaluation of the rides. Um, where are we? Oh, I, yeah, got limited feedback from the guests. Okay. Um, Yeah, okay, okay. I can't see individual feedback from the guests, or not individual, but I can't see really the guest thoughts. And they're all pretty much the same. Yeah, they're all basically the same. So, that's it. Uh, right now, uh, scenery makes your rides look pretty, but they don't actually have any real effect on the ride itself. We shall see what happens when beta comes out. But until then, I'm going to save this, and I'm going to go away and have a beer. So, until the next time, I will see you anon.